Okay, so you guys have what you think the definition means in here, which might be words, it might be examples. But let's put down a definition of an expression. You guys actually just used the vocabulary, if you think about it, in today's entry task. This said write a numerical what? And did any of these come up with an equal sign? No. Did they have numbers and variables? No. Okay, so expressions have no equal sign. <coughs> We're gonna kinda make a bulleted list here. They do have terms, which can be numbers, variables, or both. So an expression, no expression has equal signs. They are always going to be just some terms together. They have terms in them, which can be numbers, variables, or both. I'd like you to take a look at your entry task because there's four boxes there. Three of those four boxes are expressions. Which one of these three is not an expression? This one here, because it has an equal sign. equal sign. Do you see that these up here are all numbers? There's no variables in them, but they're still expressions. And what we wrote down here, these are also expressions. They have numbers and variables. So some examples could be what we wrote down in our we could have 14 plus x. It could be something more complex, like you guys had in your example, um, in your first one, three squared plus five times eight minus three. I'm just taking it right from the entry task, minus 10. That's an expression. Did we put an equal sign anywhere in that when we solved it? That's why oftentimes when you see an expression, it won't say solve, it will say simplify or evaluate. Like terms, we spent some time on this earlier this year already. I'd like you to real quick turn and share what you wrote about what you think like terms means. I heard what I was hoping to hear. Do you guys remember playing the card game where we were combining like terms? Yeah. You have to have the same what? Variable. And if the variable is raised to a power, like an exponent, it has to have the same I'm going to put and or because sometimes they don't have a, an exponent. If it has a variable with an exponent, it has to be the same power. So what does that mean? If I have x squared and 5x squared, are those like terms? I have x and I have x, that matches, and they both say squared. squared, so these are like terms. If I have y to the third and y to the fifth, no, no because the, number. the variables don't match. Even though both of them are a y, it has to be raised to the same power. So these are not examples, but this is an example.
And finally, an equation has everything that an expression has, except it also has what? Um, an equal sign. Mm -hmm. It also has an equal sign. And the word equation, it starts off the same as equal, doesn't it? Do you see that root in there? Equations can look lots of different ways. I'm giving you a couple of examples here. 1.5x equals 12. 2x plus y minus 7 equals 4. These are all what we call terms. It could also be something where you have to combine like terms. So I could have 3x squared plus x squared equals Four, and I would end up putting these two together because they're like terms. Okay, I am going to pause here in what I'm doing and I'm gonna have you guys do a little bit of work and you can do this with a partner. I'm going to have you look down here, simplify the expression by doing what? Combining, Combining, like terms. Combining like terms. And then you're going to turn the page, and there's a table here. This table is bringing together lots of ideas we've talked about in this class before. How many of you have your spiral notebook with you? You have notes on a lot of this from maybe one of the first things we took notes on. Some of these things go with the posters we have in the back of the room. So I'm going to have you and your partner, and you guys can team up however you need to, try to get this table complete after you combine like terms, and then we will come back together in about hmm, 10 minutes and see if we can correct all of these, okay? okay.